Na mwanafunzi mmoja wa kidato cha tatu katika shule ya upili ya wasichana ya bahati PCA ameaga dunia baada ya bweni lao kuteketea katika hali isiyoeleweka usiku kwa mkele. Na mchunguzi wa tukio hilo umeanzishwa huku masomo yakiendelea kama reporter wetu Maria Nyembura anavyotuarifu kutoka na kuu. Ni mabaki ya baadhi ya vitu vya matumizi vya wanafunzi zaidi ya hamsini. <tos> Wazazi, walimu na baadhi ya wanafunzi walizima moto huo ila mwanafunzi mmoja wa kidato cha tatu aliyekuwa kwenye bweni alifariki kwa kuvuta moshi huku wengine wawili wakiendelea kupokea matibabu katika hospitali ya Medihill mjini Nakuru jana katikati ya 6:30 and 7 kulitokea moto katika dormitory moja ya wasichana ndani ya hiyo dormitory hakukuwa na wanafunzi wowote isipokuwa mmoja ambaye alikuwa ndani. Wanafunzi wote walikuwa preps. Aidha chanzo cha moto bado hakijabainika huku maswali yakiibuka baada ya mwanafunzi aliaga dunia kupatikana kwenye bweni hilo wakati wengine walikuwa darasani. The time when the fire took place nobody of course even knew that there was a girl there. That's the first thing. We have actually arrived at a decision to, after talking to the parents and all the other leaders that we do not close the school because the school is still able to provide for those students that are affected uh, i'm going to put 2 million of the cdf because we want by monday the minister of work and the minister of education to join together on the board to know exactly the damage and what it will cost because up to now we are putting something we don't know mamia ya wazazi walifika shuleni leo asubuhi kujua hali ya watoto wao na kupata nafuu baada ya kuwapata wakiwa salama Miriam Nyambura Runinga ya Citizen